welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, you guys just saw an intro that was completely brand new and that is because I decided to rebrand my channel and I did change my name, uh, my YouTube channel name to Discovering Amanda. Um, the reason I did this is because I was wanting to brand my channel with exactly um, what I'm doing on this channel currently. When I first started this YouTube channel, I wasn't exactly sure um, what type of channel I was going to do because I did have some vlog videos, some mom videos, and then I had weight loss videos. And the channel just turned into my weight loss journey, recipes, meal preps, losing weight, gym, fitness. So the focus is mainly on that. And the vlog videos that I was putting on my channel, they just haven't done that well. Um, so I decided to change uh, my channel name to Discovering Amanda. So on Facebook at Discovering Amanda and Instagram at Discovering Amanda. So if you guys want to follow me over there or if you guys notice I've changed my name, this is why. Um, I just wanted everything to align up with the niche for what this channel is. And I also want to announce to you guys that if you are on here and you do like my vlogging videos and mom videos, I am going to be starting a second YouTube channel and that video is going to be like daily vlog videos, not daily vlog, but mostly vlog videos of um, day in the life of a stay at home mom, day in the life of a homeschool mom, things like that. Um, maybe like do an 18 month old baby bedtime routine, just kind of videos more on the vlogging side and family side of things. So you guys will see more of Corey. Uh, my fiance, Arya, she's my 10 year old daughter, and then Declan, who is now 18 months old, our son. Um, you'll be seeing more of them over on that other channel, and when I do launch that channel, I will let you guys know, and I will put a link to it in the description box when I get it going. But for right now, I just wanted to tell you guys that I rebranded my channel, so if you guys are wondering, why the channel name is different, that's why. I just wanted to give you guys a quick explanation. Um, it, did, it did take me a long time to rebrand the channel. That's what I've been working on lately. I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes of making a new channel banner, making a new intro, making an end screen, changing my channel name, my link name. You guys, it was so much work. It was more work than what I thought it was going to be, so that's why. I've been slower getting up videos on this channel lately, but now I have everything rebranded, so we should be good to go with videos. Anyways, let's get to the point. Today's video, I am going to be showing you guys a recipe of, it's a crock pot pizza dump recipe. So it's just when you want to just put something together and go, it's really good. Both the kids have had it, so let's go ahead and get started making this. All right, today we are making crock pot dump pizza and we're gonna go over the ingredients you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need some turkey pepperonis, some part skim mozzarella cheese, the, a seven and a half ounce can of biscuits, I just use the great value because they're only 50 cents, some no sugar added prego, and some aluminum foil. So first we're going to start out by folding the aluminum foil into thirds so we can grab it out of the crock pot. Um, I forgot to mention you also need some minced garlic because we're going to go ahead and put this on the biscuit to give it kind of a garlic flavored crust. Okay, so we are going to actually spray this once we get it here folded into thirds. Now we're going to go ahead and break apart the biscuits and put it in the bottom of the crock pot. Alright, this is what it should look like when you are done with it. And then we're just gonna pour I'm just gonna pour some of the garlic juice from here onto there, along with a little bit of garlic should come out as well. It's just gonna give it a really nice garlic flavor to the crust. Okay, now you're gonna sprinkle one cup of the cheese onto this layer. Yeah, it's going to be a good pizza. Okay, now we're going to take 15 of our turkey pepperonis and we're going to place that on top of it. Oh, 
Okay, now that we got our pepperonis out, we're gonna add our one cup of marinara sauce to the top layer. And then we're gonna finish it off with another cup of our cheese. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And we are going to cook this on high for three hours and I will come back to you guys when it's all done. Okay guys, it's all done. It actually looks a little bit overdone, but it's okay, we're still gonna eat it. Just if you're doing this in your crock pot, just keep an eye on it. I think next time I'm only gonna be cooking mine for about two and a half hours instead of the full three. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and portion it out for you guys. Guys, everyone's sitting down with their pizza here. Aria, what do you think? Good. It's pretty good. So, I was gonna show you. This is my piece. Now, they're not the biggest, but they are really thick if you look at them from the side. So I do think it's gonna be enough to fill me up. This meal is a little bit higher in points. It is 10 points per serving on all plans, and I did cut this into four slices. So it's just, just four slices, 10 points. Um, but if you save your points, or if you have some, or if you're just craving pizza, this is a perfect like deep dish pizza. You guys can put whatever toppings you want onto this. Um, if you use a cup of fat-free cheese in it, it lowers it to eight per serving. Um, but I actually, my Walmart, ran out of fat-free cheese, so I had to use regular. But if you want the points to go down for that, um, you could always do fat-free cheese as well. So this is it. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this is giving you guys some new ideas for recipes you can try at home. I know pizza is a complete comfort food. I know it is for me too, and I really did enjoy this recipe. And if you guys want more recipes and videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.